this video, I'm going to teach you how to get everything that you want. And I mean everything. The last few months, we've been talking about some stuff, and I've been giving you guys tactics, tactical advice, strategies, processes to start businesses, and I keep seeing this pushback in the comments. And I forgot a very important rule that I don't care what you give a person, what you present to a person, until they think they can do it, they believe it, not much is gonna happen. It's like dating uh, a chick with low self-esteem. You could tell her that she's beautiful, you could treat her very well, but because of her low self-esteem, that low self-esteem, it's just not going to penetrate to that hind brain. And she's going to continue to operate and behave in a manner that is inconsistent with what you're trying to bring to the table. I've done it a few times, and it is a really ugly dynamic. And that's where a lot of you are, because when I do things for my business and someone put a comment it's like well I guess poor people can't afford mentors and I was just like whoa 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 here we go again there are a ton of mentors in libraries go to the library read books learn but once again you can give people amazing awesome information but if they're not really taking in the information from in a, in a to a container that believes to a container that believes that they can achieve it because when I talk to you about these tactics and what people are doing it is coming from something I have done something I have observed something I know to be true but I will get amazing pushback because people don't believe that they're capable. It's that simple. It's not a matter of how smart you are. It's not a matter of your resources. It's not a, it, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you think. And I'm gonna tell you how I use the law of attraction. Because there's a few laws that I use them. I'm gonna talk about one in this video. Number one. Dwell, think, groom, dream, talk about what you want. Talk about it all of the time. Believe you can get it. For some of the, for some of you taking some of those courses I have, while I was talking about the Craigslist dating method, that was the law of attraction. Um, some of you who've taken the course, scripted days. That is the law of attraction, action, and visualization. Now, you cannot get what you want unless you know what you want. Then you must know what you want and believe with a all-out certainty that you're going to get it. And that's where a lot of you go wrong. You complain, all right, big example, and I'm not even gonna get into politics. This thing with Donald Trump, uh, Hillary Clinton, the old, whole presidential thing. Some people have lost their minds and they believe that the outcome of this election will spell glee or doom, depending upon who your candidate is. And it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter if you are out living your life. Let me give you an example. And I haven't seen him in a while. His, name, his first name's Kirk. Kurt was one, one side of a bomb and down the other. And then one day someone said in the forum or a Facebook group, I forget, Kurt, why don't you focus on your business as much as you focus on Obama? Some to that extent. And he's like, hmm, maybe I will. So Kurt stopped posting all that shit. And he started to focus on this business. And you know, months later, it's like, this is the best year I ever had and see this is the thing Kurt spent so much of his time 
messing around on fuckery, talking about things he couldn't control, that he let his business slide, but we're not supposed to say that. And this is just something, I'm guilty of it too, when I go out and I get away from my core, which is a hustler's mindset, blunt delivery, telling you the truth, don't give a fuck if you like me or not, when I'm in that space, it just goes well, because that's who I am. And whenever, and I made a critical, critical mistake, because when you allow people who have poverty mindsets, when you have people who are predicated on zero-sum gains, meaning if someone else is winning, that means they're losing. Life doesn't work that way because all of us right now are breathing oxygen. This is a scientific fact because if you're not breathing oxygen, you're dead or you've got a tank or something. But the whole point is every last one of us right now that's listening to this is breathing oxygen, which means there's enough for everybody. There is no zero sum game with oxygen. There's not. Many people think for someone to have, and that's why there is this fanatical hate of people who are wealthy or people perceived to be wealthy, because it, it goes both ways. That people feel that because they have this money, then I don't have anything, or the reason that they have so much money is the reason that I'm living poorly. Uh, they have all of this wealth and assets and I'm poor. There's no correlation between someone being a billionaire and you being fucking poor. There is no correlation. Thank God there's no correlation. The correlation it would be your poverty mindset with your lack of action. Because see, this is how it goes. First of all, you believe in a zero-sum game, right? And then the second thing that happens is you don't try. You, you go ahead and it's like, hey, you know, I'll introduce something to you. It's like, hey, this is you know, Kung Fu. Hustlers Kung Fu. There's this new thing that you can do. Um, when I was doing 30 Days to 2500, this woman started a business cuddling. And everyone was like, ah, it's not going to work. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Yet there was real evidence and money on the table that the shit worked. But people were like, ah, it don't work. Uh, 2009. I'm going to start a YouTube channel to sell my book. I won't work. That's not how books are sold. Uh, you're not, you know, I'm never going to give up my physical copy books. I'm never going to Kindle. This YouTube thing is not going to work. It's just not going to work. Yeah, it worked. And it, it, it's, it's so crazy how many people accept failure before they even try and that's the poverty mindset that is using the law of attraction see this is the thing the law of attraction just does not work for positive things that's where most folks go wrong who the law of attraction i'm going to get money i'm going to get paid i'm going to find the love of my life and all of these other things right the law of attraction is what you dwell about is what becomes your life and if you're dwelling about poverty, if you're dwelling about shit ain't going right, if you, you spend a lot of time focusing on the fact that you're poor versus focusing on factors that can make you wealthy, that's going to be your reality. You see, once you start, you know, and it gets real deep because once you accept that your life is fucked, because I, I did a video and... It was amazing how many people fought me on that when I was saying I refuse to accept things the way that they are. I operate on that premise that, hey, you know what? I'm a black man in America, right? And I can get paid, I can make money, uh, white people are gonna buy from me, Asian people are gonna buy from me, black folks are gonna buy from me. I operate on that premise, I operate on that belief, and damn skippy the shit happens now i've had people fight me on that tell me it's just not gonna happen and i'm sitting there like that's my reality dude that's my reality but once again when someone is encapsulated in the poverty mindset it's very hard for them to change course 
So, for you to start getting the things that you want, you must identify what you want. Simple enough, right? Many people feel shame if they want a Bentley. This great, great example. I've heard people with the money say, oh, I would never spend that much. It's not about the money. It's not about them going broke. It's that how they appear to other people. So if you have 10 million cash in the bank, right? And I think, what well, is a Bentley? 300, 400,000, I don't know. And you go out and you pay cash for this Bentley. There are people I know who could do it, who are not going to do it because they don't want to be considered in the same light that folks who do that. They can easily do it. It will not hurt them, but they won't do it because they're worried about what other people are thinking. It gets really, really deep. But once you start to accept these beliefs and things into that hind brain, the hind brain goes to work and make sure that it happens. Like for all of you people who don't have relationships, but you really want a relationship, start telling yourself, I am going to have a great relationship. Start telling yourself that now. Don't even worry about who's going to be with and all this other stuff. Get it in your mind that it is possible. Because there's a group of people who are 30-something, 40-something, 50-something, and they don't believe that they can have a good relationship, and then they attract people into their lives who make that shit come true. Because I had, when I used to do Facebook fuckery, I remember this friend of mine. I don't even know if she's still a friend. It's been so long ago. And I was saying, well, the reason you keep getting all of these kind of dudes in your life is there's something in you that keeps drawing that shit to you. No, no, no. They lie. They're busters. I was misled. I'm like, okay, you can be misled here and there. But if every dude that you meet is dusty, there's something wrong with you. I've had a few incidents where I've attracted the wrong type of woman in my life and some bad shit happened. But instead of me going, all women are fucked up. Now it's like, okay, dude, let's look at this. What did you do to draw that into your life? Where were you? And one of the incidents happened after my friend died and I was still grieving. So I wasn't thinking correctly. Cause I was like, how does shit, how did that fuckery end in my life? And I was like, oh, damn. That's how it made it end. Oh, okay. Because it didn't happen before and it hasn't happened since. So you got to look at mitigating events why you might be dating a bum. You could have gone through a serious uh, life changing event and you weren't powered up. You know, maybe your power level was. 50 when it's normally 100 and that's how that bullshit crept into your life but see ex identifying and accepting where your role or how you play the part gives you power to change that shit but long as it's someone else's fault long as it's someone else's uh responsibility you had nothing to do with it you're just a poor little victim and shit's going to keep happening gonna keep happening you're gonna keep drawing the wrong people and it's not just romantic relationships it's all relationships it's friendships it's business relationships it's tertiary it's everything because your mind isn't where it needs to be you don't believe it so number one I can do this number two take copious action that is in alignment with what you want. You want, or I'm just going to be straight up hustlers kung fu here. Say you want to fuck 30 women this year, right? How does one do that? You go out and you meet women. That's the first step. First step. A lot of people. Because when, when I would talk to dudes, because I get a lot of dudes who want to talk about disrupting maiden again. And a few guys that I've talked to, it's like, how many women do you approach every month? And it was like here and there. And then when you boil down to it, one or two, if that many. Or someone may introduce them to someone. Or they may kind of like shy wave at them, which isn't really an approach. So when you get down to it, it's like, okay, so in your typical year, you may go after six women in 12 months if you're not in a relationship. 
So if you triple the number of women you talk to, you will triple or even, you know, if your closure ratio gets nice, you might quadruple your results. So you got to start taking action. Then the third thing, when shit doesn't go right, go back and go like, okay, where did I go wrong? Ask yourself that question versus blaming someone else. By asking yourself that question, where did I go wrong? You give yourself the power to fix shit. Long as it's someone else's fault, you're just a poor little victim. You're powerless. You have no power, none whatsoever. So you, you take the feedback, then you go back, and then I know this is gonna be scary, you double your efforts. You take the feedback, then you go out there and you double your efforts. Now, you believe that you can get it, you believe that you deserve it, you accept the fact that there's gonna take some action, the law of action must be applied, you will start to see your life change. You'll start to get the things that you want. You'll start to have the type of relationships you want. Your money will start getting nice. And it's all because of how you think and how you act. That's the law of attraction. That's how I use it and that's how it worked. I mean, I've told this story since 2009. I wanted to write a book. I believed that I could write the book. I took action and one of the things that I'm going to start doing and to clear that to clear the air and to I must you know make sure that we're back all on point I'm going to start deleting what I call weak ass bitch comments so if you're going to leave a channel if you're going to leave a comment on the channel make sure it's something positive make sure it's something actionable instead of like hey how do I make money online it's like well hey Glendon you know what I'm thinking about? I want to sell these widgets and something like that. We got to get rid of all the weak bitch comments, the scared little bitch comments, the I can't do it comments, I'm afraid to try comment. We got to get rid of that energy. There's just too much scared little bitch energy up in here. This is too much. Too much. We got to get rid of it because this channel is designed to do two things. It was designed in a certain way that either you really like the channel or you can't stand it. And that's by intention. That's by design. And I've got a lot of people who normally would have went away who are kind of hanging out. And uh, I'll take ownership of that because, you know, the message hasn't been what it should have been. So if you're not about action, if you're not about really, really changing your life, if you're just going to ask a bunch of questions, and questions are cool, but at some point you have to stop asking questions and taking action. At some point, you've got to do that. So that's that's where we're going. And to help you, I got a book. It's an audio book. No, it's not free. We're done with that because that was an experiment and it went pretty, it was interesting. But it's the hustler's mindset. Pimping your mind for success. All right? Go ahead and get that book. I'm making a nice deal for you. Links around here should pop up somewhere. Uh, there's going to be an annotation. Get that book. Start going through it. And start taking action. And start to understand that we live in a world of abundance. And there is just so much out there for you if you properly position your mindset and you get away from fear or you or you tangle with fear you know you're like okay i'm scared but you know what fear i'm not gonna let you stop me from doing this right so you start doing that so be sure to get the book go ahead and start pimping your mind for success because that's the biggest battle that you have to win it's not your family uh it's, no 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 you, you, you got to start winning that inner battle of you against you because I'm going to tell you something you're going to have to kill yourself yep kill yourself if the person that you presently are isn't getting the results that you want you're going to have to change to, into that person that gets those type of results 
That's what's going to have to happen. You cannot remain you and get different results. You're going to have to change parts of your personality, parts of the way that you think, the way that you act to get those things. So once again, links below the video should be around here somewhere. Hit that. Buy the book today. Start listening to the book today and listen to the book three to four times. Just keep listening to it. It'll start to sink in. All right. So that's how you use the law of attraction to get anything that you want.